building is the Livingston County EMS Public Safety Complex. Uh, was named after John E. LaBelle. He was a county commissioner here for 42 years, I believe. And so the building is named the Livingston County EMS Public Safety Complex, John E. LaBelle. My name is Jeff Boyd, director with Livingston County EMS. Uh, so we got this building started in around 2008, and now it houses both uh, Livingston County EMS, University of Michigan Survival Flight, Lansing Community College, and we're doing a Howell High School EMT class through LESA. So it's really housing a lot of training and uh, operations issues at this point. You were a big part of having this built, correct? Yes, I was. I guess you could say that I kind of was the driving force from the beginning to, to kind of get it motivated and pull all the parties together. And, and I'll be honest with you, there were times when it was like, you know, I think we ought to just let this one go. And then, then I'd get back up and get going. And, but it took a lot of support and a lot of work through the Board of Commissioners to make this happen. And uh, they were a huge part of this. And uh, I guess I persevered, I guess, is what I tried to do and, and make this happen for Livingston County and the, and the emergency medical services community. We had to work with the airport to get what they call a through the fence operation, which is unusual. It's not something that is allowed very often, and it, but it's allowed for it was allowed for us as public safety officials to get access to the airport for the aircraft. So it was a unique situation worked on with and partnered with the airport for us to get access. So that's why we purchased this property and moved forward with, uh, with this location. Uh, on the first floor of the building, it's approximately 20,000 square feet of where we house the office staff. So we do all of our billing for Livingston County EMS and our administration. On one side of the building is operations for EMS, so it's our headquarters for about five ambulances that respond out of here on 12-hour shifts. There's a 24-hour ambulance that's here. Our duty supervisor is here. Uh, we have an exercise room, locker rooms, so staff can come in, exercise, go to work. Um, and then on the opposite side of the building is the University of Michigan survival flight and their operations, which is staffed by uh, three pilots, two for their fixed-wing aircraft, one for their helicopter, and then two medical staff uh, that can rotate between the helicopter and the fixed wing. So basically on the first floor, you're operating two, two emergency agencies on the same floor operating at the same time, 24-7. So here we have the simulation ambulance that's just down the hall from the classrooms. And the idea behind the simulation ambulance in this particular hallway is at the end of the hallway, there's a practical lab then there are three simulation labs and then the simulation ambulance. So on this hallway, we can actually run a complete ambulance call. We can do, for example, a motorcycle accident in the practical lab. The students can bandage, backboard, splint, put them on a cot, wheel them down the hall to the simulation ambulance, put them in the ambulance, simulate a ride to the hospital, take them out of the ambulance, move them down the hall again into one of the simulation labs that would be an emergency room. So now you've completed from scene to ambulance, back to the emergency room and transfer the care to the emergency room. So that was the design of this particular end of the building in the hallway of simulations and practical labs. There's just an enormous amount of people that were involved in helping this project come together, and I, I'd like to take time and uh, thank a few of those folks. Actually, it goes back to our past county administrator was here when that got started, Mr. Block, some of our commissioners that were here before, uh, Commissioner Jones, Commissioner Monti, and then, of course, right on to our current board that has passed all the resolutions, did all the bonding. So the current board of commissioners was just incredible in helping with this project. And then our construction committee. Three gentlemen that have just been dedicated to helping the construction, and I can thank them so much for following through and sticking with us in this project. And last but not least, my own staff. They have had to listen to me through the ups and the downs, and, and they have been incredible in getting this project up and running, and I thank everybody involved.